I heard she busted the whole police department. I wanted to be next in line for the busting. She no longer works for the department, okay? Now, after being ousted as one of the internet's most popular and notorious new characters, well, former police officer Megan Hall's own side of the story about the, uh, well, numerous physical relationships she had with a number of her co-workers, well, it's finally been leaked in a transcript of authorities' investigation into what happened, and according to her, uh, the immortal world of Gob Bluff. Well, she made a huge mistake. I mean, it's actually become a meme. I've made a huge mistake. But before we explore Megan's point of view on what exactly happened, well, let's take a quick look at where she came from. Now, Megan, she's a 26-year-old woman who goes by the full name of Megan Olivia Hall, a petite blonde notable for her incredibly youthful baby face and the numerous uh, tattoos that stand in stark contrast, you know, to her overall look. No one saw that coming. Now, Megan grew up in rural Tennessee, where as a child, well, she originally dreamt of becoming an actress. Only life, well, it didn't wind up taking her down that road. Jedediah Hall. She met a boy named Jedediah Hall, the son of a local pastor, whom she fell in love with, and the pair they married in 2018. Now that she was looking to build a life as one half of a happily married couple, well, Megan pivoted from her pie-in-the-sky dreams of acting to becoming a member of the local Laverne Police Department. Now, as Megan made her way through the force she actually uh well considering what happened i should probably rephrase that as megan advanced through the ranks of the police force well her husband he picked up work as a park ranger now with the numerous images of these two that have been released since this wild and crazy story first broke well they both look pretty happy and completely in love with one another but in point in fact well that apparently couldn't be farther from the truth now megan has since revealed that she and jed well they were having marital problems and according to her it was those very problems that instigated what happened next. On December 12th of 2022, well, the Laverne Police Department received a complaint from, of all people, well, the town's mayor, Jason Cole. Now, Jason had been tipped off that there was something exceptionally seedy going on in the confines of this small Tennessee police force. Now, more specifically, well, he was under the impression that Officer Megan Hall, well, she was having numerous physical relationships with multiple keepers of the peace. Now, as would become clear thanks to the initial wave of reporting, well, the resulting investigation proved that not only did these affairs take place, but they often happened when the officers in question, well, they were supposed to be serving and protecting their community. In other words, well, they were on the clock. The investigation says Mayor Jason Cole got the first tip about the relationships. Now, of course, it also was happening off of the clock as well. Now, whether it was at a hotel, a nearby gym, football watch parties, or even a particularly scandalous hot tub party taking place on a co-worker's houseboat, well, Megan, she had very little problem letting her freaky flag fly, nor did any of the men taking her up on the opportunity. Now, once word broke out about what was going on here, well, one of the internet's first questions was how much Megan husband Jed knew. Now, according to reports, while Jed wasn't entirely aware of the scope of uh, Megan's nocturnal activities, well, he at least had an understanding that something was going down. Now, for starters, as previously mentioned, well, his relationship with Megan wasn't as perfect as it might have seemed, you know, from the outside looking in. And what's more, well, Jed, he was also present during some of these work parties where Megan's inhibitions got the best of her. For instance, at one of these parties, Jed, he walked into a room to discover Megan passionately making out with another officer's wife. Now, Jed, he then turned around and he immediately left. He was upset with what he had seen. Now, prior to witnessing this reaction firsthand, well, the men Megan had been sleeping with were apparently under the impression that she was in an open relationship. Nonetheless, well, that wasn't true, and it simply was a way for Megan to uh, to rationalize her behavior while her marriage was on the fritz. Now, eventually, one of the men involved in this sordid drama, Sergeant Ty McGowan, well, he blew the whistle on what was happening by alerting the town's mayor of the police force's um, extracurricular activities. Now, of course, he uh, conveniently forgot to mention that he was one of the men who was sleeping with Megan on a semi-regular basis and that his own jealousy is what led him to shine a light on the whole matter. But in the end, well, the truth would come to light. And McGowan, as well as Megan, well, they were two of the five officers who lost their jobs as a result of the investigation. Now, a further three officers were also suspended without pay, which means in a town of just 40,000 people, well, Laverne's police force dramatically shrunk by a total of 12% leaving just 62 officers to protect the streets.
And if you're wondering what happened to Jed, well, according to reports from the New York Post and the Daily Mail, well, he fully intends on sticking by Megan and trying to get their marriage back on track. The question is, after everything Megan has admitted to, is there any hope in salvaging this relationship? I think not. Ugh. Oh, could you... I can't even think about that. Now, after the scandalous event that took place in the small Tennessee town uh, reverberated across the entire world, well, Megan Hall remained quiet in regards to what exactly happened. Then a few weeks later, well, the transcript of her internal investigation, it was leaked to the press for the very first time, and the world got to hear what had happened, according to Megan herself. To begin with, well, Megan made it clear that she and Jed, well, they were on the verge of divorce, and that this tumultuous period in her life, well, it's what led to her poor decision-making. She explained to investigators Andrew Patton. I just cracked and then it just kind of got out of hand. I got stupid, I guess, and guys are guys and they'll stick their dick in anything. Now, Megan was interviewed over a series of three different occasions. The first time she denied most of the accusations flung at her, but over the course of the next two, well, she came clean about her steamy rendezvous. Now, during that first interview, well, Megan admitted to sleeping with canine officer Larry Holiday, one of the three men suspended without pay, who was able to keep his job because he was honest with investigators over what what had happened from the jump. Now, Megan would admit to sleeping with Larry a few times, but was adamant that these affairs, well, they were from a way back, like they were a while ago. She then dismissed the notion of sleeping with Sergeant Lewis Powell, but then Patton confronted Megan with text messages in relation to Powell's. Well, let's just call it his, uh, his nightstick. She admitted to having a months long physical relationship with her superior, one that was sometimes consummated inside the police station. Now, Megan would also state that Powell was extremely persistent in wanting to sleep with her and that there were times she didn't want to be with him so uh she would just like get him to stop asking she was like enough so uh she further suggested that she felt stuck and she couldn't really figure out a way to get out of this relationship now the affair it became even more toxic when megan she eventually tried to break it off now megan says that powell he threatened to hurt himself by drinking an entire bottle of jack daniel's whiskey and then getting into a car accident my God, these are the cops. Now, the two co-workers, they finally ended their affair after she admitted to Powell that she was sleeping with someone else. Perhaps that someone else was fellow officer Patrick Magliocco. Magliocco, I think that's his name. And Megan, she had been having a menage a trois alongside him and his wife. Yeah. Now, according to Megan, well, she and Jed, they'd actually engaged in threesomes before in the past. So she figured, uh, well, he might be down for a wife swap with Patrick's partner. But when asked, well, Jed, he wanted nothing to do with it. Now, Patrick would later become one of the three officers suspended without pay. Another attempt by Megan to get Jed in the same bed as Sergeant McGowan and his own wife for a potential foursome also petered out. And uh, well, she described how during a questioning where she stated, Ty wanted to try to get Jed to have a thing with all of us. We played strip uno and then mcgowan's wife went out onto the patio with jed me and ty kissed for a little bit and then that was it now despite these jaw-dropping revelations well according to megan she's as committed to working on her marriage right now as jed is and the couple well they plan on staying together while attending therapy now when asked how she felt about coming clean to her husband well megan she told the investigator it wasn't easy but uh i'm glad i told him now that she's officially without a job well megan will still have a lot more time on her hands to do what she can to make it up to jed then again if uh if that proves to be impossible well she could also accept an offer from a nashville strip club that's willing to pay her $10,000 for just two nights of performance. After hearing this unbelievable story for himself, Deja Vu Showgirls owner Michael Durham, well, he offered Megan that exact amount in cash to perform twice at the club's anniversary show on March 17th of this year. So will Megan Hall take the man up on this lucrative offer or will she really have to do whatever it takes to save her marriage? I guess time will tell. But for now, you're all caught up on where are they now? Thanks for checking out this video. Before I leave you guys, I do have a question for you. How many affairs would your partner have to take part in before you called it quits on your marriage? I mean, is one enough? Could you live through one? Could you handle two? Could you handle a menage a trois? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!